Food, education and a real chance in life. That's what 700 children in the East Kenyan town of Watamu now have, thanks to Sue and Dave Hayward. Since coming here on holiday nine years ago, Sue and Dave, who run a hotel in Blackpool, have worked tirelessly, raising money to build three schools and setting up a sponsor a child scheme. It has taken our life over, but we, because we've let it, because we wanted it to, because my husband Dave and myself, we just love what we're doing now, and we're looking to our future as well as the children's. It's been hard work. The hardest thing has been getting our work known, um, getting some other people involved. And, but I've had a lot of help. I've had a lot of help with the website, and that's been fantastic, people who contact me from that. And we've had a lot of help with people who've sponsored children. And now lots of people come and visit their child because it's not a child that's just you're sponsoring and your money's going into a pot. It is the child is here. It is a personal thing. But now Sue has even bigger plans for the future. This reception area now is, is looking nearly finished. And the office. She's acquired a plot of land on which she's now building an orphanage, or as she prefers to call it, a happy house. We're upstairs now in the happy house. Um, we've got two parts to the building. This part underneath we've got the dining room and the offices and downstairs we've got the bedrooms. We've built bedrooms on the top here as well because, and we've opened it up so we get the fresh air through. We're going to have a lovely garden in the middle here. One day Sue will be able to take in up to a hundred children. We're hoping to maybe put four sets of bunk beds in here. We didn't want the children in great big dormitories, we wanted them because it's not an institution, it's a home for children. We want to put older kids in with little ones to bring them up as brothers and sisters where the big ones will help the little ones get dressed, get washed for morning. And um, to be a family atmosphere, that's what we're going to create, a family atmosphere. The prevalence of HIV has left many children in Watamu without parents. It's these children Sue wants to bring to the happy house. Many of these children are just living and sleeping, sleeping rough really, a lot of them. A number of these children are orphans, some of them have parents. Some of them are taken in by aunties, grandmothers, because we have the grandparents and we have the children, but a lot of the time we have nothing in the middle because of the HIV and the AIDS. So many children can just be abandoned. This is why we have a desperate need for the happy house because as you can see these children, nobody's at school. We need to educate these children. We need to bring them up as responsible little adults. There's so many children, so many children that need, that need help and support. Having secured the land, Sue's decided she's going to dedicate the rest of her life to the orphans and has put the hotel back in Blackpool on the market. However, it's not the retirement that her husband Dave initially had in mind. They've looked to have done better than Built three schools, 700 kids in full-time education, happy kids. They can do all that. She says we could build an orphanage. Oh, I said, no. I said, we've done enough. No, she said. I know once you build the orphanage, then she's going to come and live here. I knew my retirement wasn't going to be in Blackpool. I knew I wanted to be here. Dave, my husband, was more unsure than me. He thought he would live on the prom in Blackpool and maybe go to Tenerife and possibly come here as well, but he, he didn't see himself living here. It wasn't his, his way. I took a bit of convincing, but then when we got this land, and we saw that they've got four acres, and at least an acre, an acre and a half, we were going to farm. Have chickens, have goats, have cows, grow veg. I thought, I can do it. And I love to do it. Ah, Rafiki, are you OK? Ah. There's a terrific amount of coddle yeah. on the land, all over the land. So this yeah, is the best stretch, basically, where we're going to grow the vegetables. Now, so we've got to get most of the coddle out and then we've got a depth of maybe 18 inch 
so the vegetables will be able to grow. Then what we're going to do is put topsoil into that to mix it and a bit of vinegar and we should get some really good results. So subsidise the feeding of the children will be good. You can crop twice a year if you do it right. Because I'm a bit of a country lad. I grew up in the country. So I'm coming back to my roots in a way, but it's just a long way from home. So yeah, it's great. Yeah, so I, I, th I think we'll have a very good retirement. I'll be happy anyway, put it that way. It's not just the children of Watamu that Sue wants to help, it's the whole community. So she's built a library at the school which everyone can use. Over the years, I've gradually shipped out all these books. We started the library with 3,000 books and we're up to about 20,000. These cartons that we've got here have just been delivered. Um, we had 6,000 books given by the Oxford Publishing Company, which are absolutely brilliant. I think books are so important to children's development and to the future. So the, if we can get a generation of children reading, we're achieving. Take that? Yeah, thanks. We'll just have a look what we need. From coming here as holiday makers, Sue and Dave are now a part of Watamu, having won the support and admiration of the local people. She's helping. We have got the orphans. She's taking them in. And at least they are going to improve the village. Yeah. We are very proud of them. We love them because they are doing a great job. They are changing the environment of Watamu. This weekend, revise, cover up much, yes, sir. ready for the exam. Yes, Expect yes, everybody sir. to do well in the exam. Yes, sir. We are not the generation of children are flourishing at the local school, violence. thanks to Sue's fundraising work. Let's all leave for home. Hey, hey. Make sure you have your tie with you. Uh, Sue. She's a caring and loving, and uh, I can't exactly explain her heart. She takes the kids as her own, and uh, she really feels for, 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 for the kids, and she wants to, to, to make a change in the, in the, in the, off, in, in the kids. And uh, it's like it's her life. So, it's, it's, I, I like the word to explain, uh, to explain the, the, the love she has for these orphans. It's, it's wonderful, it's, it's special. The happy house should be ready to take in the first orphans later this year. Sue and Dave will be there to welcome them. We look on coming here to Kenya um, as a complete new start, not as the people look to retirement, as the end coming to the end of the lives, we're looking to a new start. New we chapter. don't want to be sat on the prom in Blackpool watching it rain. We want to be here helping these children. There's so much to do, so much to look forward to. It's brilliant, isn't it? It's brilliant. When you see a vision becoming a reality, when I said to you, let's build a happy house, you know, and look at the gardens, the 